Hi there. Today we're going to talk about cybersecurity trends. We're going to go through examples of threats and solutions that you need to be aware of as a business or an individual using the internet. Cybersecurity refers to the techniques used to protect systems, networks, devices, and data from cyber threats. And these threats could be digital attacks, unauthorized access, or system damage. That's why cybersecurity covers a broad range of practices, technologies, processes, and controls designed to defend against cyber threats. You can imagine that this field is crucial because it helps to safeguard information from various cyber threats, such as hacking, malware, ransomware, phishing, and other types of cyber attacks. Now, everything is connected in one way or another to the internet. That's because our personal, business, and even governmental data are part of cloud software. That's why cybersecurity is a central part of every digital conversation. And the aim of cybersecurity is not just to protect information technology systems, but also to ensure the integrity, confidentiality, and availability of data. Now let's talk about some examples of the most important trends in cybersecurity threats. Number one, advanced phishing attacks. These sophisticated attacks are designed to deceive individuals into sharing sensitive information, such as login credentials or financial information, by masquerading as a trustworthy entity. Unlike traditional phishing, advanced phishing involves more personalized and targeted methods, known as spear phishing. And here, attackers often use detailed information about their targets to craft convincing messages. This information can be gathered from social media profiles, corporate websites, and other public sources. The emails used in these attacks appear to also come from a known or a trusted sender, making them more effective at tricking recipients. Another emerging trend in advanced phishing is the use of AI and machine learning. These technologies enable attackers to automate the creation of phishing content in a way that it becomes more convincing and less prone to detection by traditional anti-phishing tools. And what they do is that they can analyze vast amounts of data to identify potential targets and tailor messages that are highly relevant and engaging to those individuals. An example of an advanced phishing attack is the business email compromise. In this scenario, a cyber criminal impersonates a high-level executive, such as a CEO or a trusted external partner. The attacker uses social engineering techniques to gather detailed information about the company and its employees, often through extensive research. And after gaining enough information, the attacker crafts a highly convincing email. This email, seemingly from the CEO or a senior executive, is then sent to an employee with financial authority. They often target those in the finance or accounts department. And the email might request an urgent transfer of funds, payment of an invoice, or sensitive information, stressing the confidential or time-sensitive nature of the request. To combat these attacks, organizations should implement multi-factor authentication for both email and financial systems, and that's to add an additional layer of security beyond passwords. Employees should also be trained regularly on cybersecurity best practices, including recognizing phishing attempts and verifying unusual requests through direct communication channels. Number two, we have targeted ransomware attacks. These have become a highly disruptive cyber threat, particularly for critical infrastructure sectors and large businesses. And in these attacks, cyber criminals identify and target specific organizations, often those they perceive as having the ability to pay large ransoms. Unlike widespread ransomware campaigns that usually scatter attacks broadly, Targeted ransomware is more focused and often involves extensive reconnaissance to understand the target's network and its vulnerabilities. A notable example is the 2021 attack on Colonial Pipeline, one of the largest pipeline operators for refined oil products in the US. The attack was attributed to the DarkSide Ransomware Group, 
and it led to the shutdown of a major fuel pipeline, triggering widespread fuel shortages and a declaration of a state of emergency in several states. The attackers demanded a substantial ransom, part of which was paid by Colonial Pipeline to regain access to their systems. To counter such threats, organizations should adopt a multi-layered security approach. First, this includes regular backup of critical data, network segmentation to prevent the spread of ransomware, and auditing software and systems to repair vulnerabilities. Meanwhile, employee training to recognize phishing attempts, which are often the entry point for ransomware, is also crucial. Deploying advanced threat detection tools that monitor for unusual network activity can also help in early identification of a ransomware attack. And finally, implementing a robust incident response plan that includes procedures for handling ransomware attacks can significantly mitigate the impact and improve recovery time. Threat number three, deepfake technology. This technology involves the use of artificial intelligence to create highly realistic yet fake audio and video content. You can imagine this has emerged as a significant cybersecurity threat, and this technology can be exploited for malicious purposes, such as misinformation campaigns, impersonation, and fraud. A notable example of deep fake misuse occurred in 2020 where fraudsters used AI-generated audio to impersonate the voice of a CEO, convincing a subordinate to transfer hundreds of thousands of dollars to a fraudulent account. This incident highlighted the potential financial and reputational damage that deepfakes can cause. Now, to combat the threat posed by deepfake technology, companies should invest again in awareness and training. Educating employees and the general public about the existence and nature of deepfakes is crucial. Training individuals to critically assess media content and verify information through multiple sources can help mitigate the risk of deception. Companies should also encourage employees to use multiple modes of communication for verification purposes, such as following up phone calls or video messages with emails or in-person meetings. This can reduce the risk of falling victim to deepfake scams. Threat number four, Internet of Things vulnerabilities. Now, the Internet of Things refers to the network of physical devices, vehicles, home appliances, and other items connected to the Internet. For instance, IoT vulnerabilities in the automotive sector highlighted the risks associated with the increasing connectivity of cars. Modern cars are no longer just mechanical devices. They're equipped with many interconnected digital systems, making them a part of the IoT ecosystem. While these systems enhance functionality and user experience, they also open up new avenues for cyber attacks. A notable example of automotive hacking that underscores IoT vulnerabilities occurred in 2015, and it involved a Jeep Cherokee. Security researchers demonstrated that they could remotely hack into the Jeep's entertainment system via its Uconnect feature, which was connected to the cellular network. From there, they were able to access other car functions, including the engine, steering, and brakes, and you can imagine how scary that could be. This has ultimately led to Fiat Chrysler recalling 1.4 million vehicles to patch the vulnerability. To protect against such vulnerabilities, both manufacturers and users must take proactive steps. Manufacturers need to prioritize cybersecurity in the design of their vehicles and regularly update software as well as monitor for vulnerabilities. Users, on the other hand, should be aware of the digital features of their vehicles and maintain software updates. They should also be cautious with third-party apps or devices that interface with the vehicle. Threat number five, data breaches on cloud storage. Now, as companies increasingly migrate their data and operations to the cloud, they face many security challenges. Misconfigurations and inadequate access controls are the most common problems. These vulnerabilities can lead to significant data breaches with potentially disastrous consequences. 
One of the primary issues in cloud security is misconfiguration. Cloud environments are complex and they can be difficult to set up correctly. And a simple mistake like leaving a storage bucket open to the public or improperly setting network access controls can expose sensitive data to unauthorized access. In 2019, a misconfigured cloud server led to the exposure of over 250 million Microsoft customer service and support records. This incident highlighted how easily data can become accessible if cloud services are not properly configured. Inadequate access controls are another critical challenge. Cloud environments often require sophisticated access control mechanisms to ensure that only authorized personnel can access sensitive data and systems, and failure to implement these controls can lead to unauthorized access and data breaches. Conducting regular audits of cloud configurations and continuous monitoring can help identify and rectify those configurations promptly. Meanwhile, implementing the principle of least privilege can significantly reduce the risk of unauthorized access. This principle means that users are only given the access necessary to perform their job. You can also use specialized cloud security tools, which automate the process of detecting vulnerabilities and enforcing security policies. Even if you're a small or a medium-sized business who has a website or an e-commerce platform, it's important to understand these cybersecurity threats and invest some time in auditing the security of your website and digital tools. SMEs should implement strong, multi-layered security measures to protect their websites and digital platforms. This includes using robust cybersecurity tools like firewalls, anti-malware, and intrusion detection systems, as well as ensuring all software and platforms are regularly updated to patch vulnerabilities. They should also educate their employees about cybersecurity best practices, such as recognizing phishing attempts and using strong, unique passwords, and that's to build a strong first line of defense against hacking. Now, thank you very much for watching this video. We hope that you now have a better understanding of cybersecurity threats and solutions. If you need any help with that, we're happy to help you. Just drop us a comment and we'll get back to you.